now we're gonna click on the folder where project was created you see a folder of name of product is being created it has project and xcode file now before we open the xcode file we're gonna come down to this level inside the priyank folder i'm gonna right click and create one more folder saying one dot life cycle plus mvc now in this project we're gonna demonstrate we're gonna see how the life cycle of the ios application is and how does the mvc works uh, for the ios i'm gonna drag this project folder into the apps. so as the course progresses we're gonna create some folders inside the priyank folder with a sequence to see the how the learning curve is happening so i go inside the project folder i click on the export icon and the project gets created now this is an id and new i don't know what to do i will just play around with the export for a while now if you see there are three buttons out here for the view when you click one you see something happening right when you click this something's happening so basically Xcode is divided into four windows. One is a left side window which we call project navigator. The right hand side is for help and for the other interface builder. The bottom one is used for debugger window and for the console. And the center one is basically for the editor page space. Now if you see the project has already created some files same as app delegate, controller, the supporting folder and you gonna see a main file. Now, as a programmer, we know everything starts from the main file. So, as a new file, I don't know where to go about. I want to say, oh, something familiar name I have, it's called main. So, I open the main. Now, in the main, I see that there is one line of code and that's it. Now, from here, where should I go? Where should the control flows? So, basically, you have to observe the things and start observing them properly. Now, if you see main function has two arguments ARCC and ARCV, there is an annotation called auto release pool. Now, basically, an auto release pool is nothing but a, when an app, when you click on the icon, the first thing the OS does is to create the memory space for your application to run. Now, that memory space is called auto release pool. So, all your object which you create during in your application gets attached to this pool. And when this pool gets released, you when you close your application, this pool gets released. And all the object which are attached to this pool will be released from the RAM. Now, if you see there is one function which says UI application main. Now, I don't know what it does. UI application basically it creates the event cycle. It's a this is a function which creates the application object, assigns the delegate to him, and start your event loop. Or you say start the life cycle for your project or for your app now from here what i see the first two argument for this function are nothing but the command line argument the third line is nil the fourth one it says class from class app delegate class basically it says something he needs right but how to come and know how to know what this arguments are all about when you click on ui application main you will see there's a quick help coming up on the right hand side of the window now it says this function is called in the main entry point to create an application object, the application delegate, and set up the event cycle. Now, what are these parameters? ARCC and ARCV, we know it's a command line argument. ARCC stands for the count inside the array ARCV. Now, principal class name, the name of the UI application class or the subclass. Now, the third argument it says, give me the name of the application class or the object which object the application object class which i have to create so os needs to create if for os each application is nothing but an application object now when you pass nil it takes the value from the manifest file because it's a template we have used id to create the template so a lot of things will be created automatically by the id so when you pass nil in this it takes the name of the file from that thing and the fourth argument is nothing but it says give me the name of the application of subclub which is nothing but a delegate class or the the object the class name whose object will become the delegate to listen to the life cycle or to listen to the state change of the application object so for by default app delegate is the 
class your application class and itself becomes the delegate its object becomes the delegate to listen to the state change in the application object so now from here we come to know there is something called app delegate now app delegate is nothing but the class so i say go to dot h now we know in objective c each class is physically represented by the two files dot h and dot dot h declares the declaration whereas dot m is the implementation file now if you see app delegates extends ui responder now i need to know whether it extends ns object or not because as per the definition any class which extends ns object is a objective c class but for example now i see app delegate is ui responder so when i say right click jump to definition and then i see ui responder extends ns object so i i verify that app delegate is a valid objective c class now i don't know what does windows does what are the okay from a controller i come to know okay in mvc architecture we require controller now in any architect when we create a software we know we have to use mvc architecture the mvc is basically a cat a camps where you uh, decide which class should belong to which camp so there came an application without a view a back end processing so it is intense on the model not on the view there can be a purely a gui application with nothing to do nothing to do with the concrete uh, model but controller is required to a controller x as a junction where model meets the view so basically controller first modifies the model applies the business logic and then send that data from the model to the view component to display to the user on a respective window or the graphical coordinate so controller becomes important component whether there can be a view or not whether there can be a model or not but always there should be a controller now we want to see app dot app now in application and dot am i see a lot of functions but i don't know what they going to do so do not get confused the best way to understand the code is to write logs or is to write these system statements and see how does the application flows from one function to another and once you know the flow of the app you start understanding the app very well so i going to write the console outputs now in objective c we write ns log and we pass the ns string now ns string is passed by double quote with the prefix with at the rate because this in this id we might write c string so c strings are double quoted but in ns string are at the rate double quoted now some people might write 111 hi hello but i normally prefer when i want to check the control flow i always prefer to write the name of the function itself so i don't have to come back to the editor page when i'm seeing the console output so i say ns log dialog command c i say did finish launching with option i start writing the first statement of my each function with the ns log which prints nothing but the name of the method itself so in windows uh, environment we use control c and control v whereas in macintosh control is represented by the command that's it so you select so i have done commenting all the functions now i just say run so my it's compiles pre compiles the code creates and reads the build and will pop up the ios or the iphone simulator the first time of the run it will going to take time so i say 
we open the console and see outputs coming on and we click on the simulator so it's getting loaded and there's some animation which I've seen right now and a grey color screen comes in but I see some logs coming on my output so with this log I come to know the first function which got called was application did finish launching that means this is the application which catch call and immediately after there's a function called application did become active so I see this okay this is the function which catch call so when I have an uh, application which I click whenever it's loaded when I use a click on the icon the first thing the main from the main function the control comes to the date finish launching with option and that comes to the command now as an iPhone user we know in order to close the app we just have to press the home button so when I press the home button the another two function gets called first one is resign active and then it says did end the background past tense now with iOS 4.0 and above multitasking was enabled so when I so it doesn't shut down the application but it sends the application back into the background so if I want to open reopen the app I just double click on the home button and a multitask panel comes in and then I click on my project icon again it comes in a foreground but I see that two functions getting called application will enter foreground application did become active so the application life cycle I come to know now when I launch for the first time it did become option application become active when I press the home button it goes resign active it stops it and then it says enter background so when I say again when I open the app from the background panel it says will enter foreground and become active now if a user wants to close the app it first press the home button double press and see the icon and when I press it starts moving and when I say minus sign it should remove the application so ideally the compiler got paused or you can say the LLDB arrow come but there are few functions which didn't get called now I got an exception because I closed the app from the simulator without closing from the Xcode so Xcode tries to run the project but then he doesn't find the instance that's fine so as there are a few functions which were not called dialog now we know dialog needs to get called when an object is removed from it as of now when we see when we remove the minus when I press on the minus sign of the icon it has to get removed from the app but the dialog didn't get called oh wow again there's one more function which didn't get called will terminate when we see a definition of will terminate it says that a, there is a delegate when an application is about to terminate when I know so now there's a dilemma whether the application is released from the phone or memory or not basically do not worry when you press the minus sign application is out of the memory but the uh, object doesn't get the indication why now question comes why now before we I, before I answer the question why you see have you called this method by any chance I never call this method they are getting called automatically there's nothing called automatic because our class app delegate is confirming a protocol called UI application delegate and those methods are nothing but the implementation of the protocol method so I will, I will go inside the protocol and see oh wow so it's UI application delegate is a protocol where I see all my method which I have seen implemented on my dot m are a part of that protocol and all of them are optional these are all various lifecycle method which gets triggered by the OS depending upon the state of your application object now if you see this protocol is inside the UI application dot h so whenever a protocol is something which we say declared once but implemented by any class and can be called by multiple places but if suppose a protocol calling is happening only from the one class it's always advisable to attach that protocol def declaration inside the dot edge of that respective class so it helps us to reduce the number of files management so in most of the cases it's, it's your application the name of the class where it's lying followed by the delegate word so whenever you see any protocol method and if you want to know where it, first try to haunt in a prefix name of that dot edge and then start so it's become easier so standardization helps you to identify things simpler now 
now we are coming back to the question why these methods were not called now if you see and it's a part of all the now if I say I, op I open the contacts now this is a contact cell and I close this down I open my project one now project one obviously you won't get see the consoles uh, I think it's got crashed because of the I again open the contacts now this is contacts app I close contact apps I open the Safari app now this is Safari app now when I double click so when I double click I see contact I hold it now when I click on the minus sign of the contacts if uh, I know I can register this point uh, OS can register this point and send the sense to the object saying will terminate now tell me which object is in foreground whether it's a context object application object or the safari application object the object which is in the foreground becomes a listener to the OS that object has authority to listen to the state change of the application so if I send a message saying will terminate it won't terminate the contacts app it will unfortunately terminate the Safari app because Safari app is in a foreground so in multitask environment sometimes it's not possible to send a message to the delegate object because there's a dilemma because you might want to send a message to the background object but it goes to the foreground so in this case I want to send a message to the contact application object but Safari object being in the foreground he might sense the he will sense the that message from the OS therefore OS takes the responsible from from the application layer to its own layer and terminate the contact app without sending that message so here the contact apps gets removed without removing the Safari app now even in this scene when I double click foreground contains the home application so we will never receive did terminate or will terminate inside the application life cycle so this gives a generalized scenario of the life cycle inside the application